friends, my name is Megan, and I'm so excited to see you guys today. I have a question for you. What are you most thankful for? Okay, you're thankful for your soccer team? Awesome. What else are you thankful for? Thank for your mom? Amazing. What else are you thankful for? Your grandma? Love that. Your dad, your grandfather? That's amazing. I love hearing that. You know what I'm most thankful for? I'm most thankful for you guys because you guys are amazing. Hey, I have a question for you guys. You ready? Who can you thank for everything? That's right. I can thank God for everything. Our God is so amazing. Why don't we set up on our feet and let's give thanks to our God because our God, there's truly no one like him. Let's sing out together. I'm thankful, thankful, I'm thankful for you, God. I'm thankful, thankful, I'm thankful for you, God. All I wanna do is sing about you every minute, every hour, every day. Cause I am for today comes from Ephesians 5.20. And I need your guys' help. Will you guys help me? Yeah? Okay, come on. Stand up on your feet and let's do this together. You ready? Always give thanks to our God. Ephesians 5.20. Amazing job. But this time, I want you guys to say it so loud that the whole neighborhood can hear you. Will you guys help me? Yeah, you will? Okay, let's do it. Always give thanks to our God. Ephesians 5.20. Amazing job, friends. We'll stay standing because we have a worship song, and then we'll have an amazing Bible story talking about manna and the quill. And trust me, you're not going to miss this Bible story. So stay standing as we worship together because our God is truly amazing. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning. I'm Jayla, and I was just getting ready for our parade of thanks. I can't wait for the parade. I'm gonna ride on a float. One of my favorite parts of a parade is when people throw treats off the parade floats. We're gonna throw goldfish crackers, 
We're gonna throw fruit snacks. Wow, thinking of all these snacks is making me hungry. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Jayla. Who? Who? Feeling hungry, are you? Hi, Ollie. I'm thinking about snacks for the parade, and it's making me hungry. Yummy food is good. It's true. I know some people who were super hungry, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. And wow, oh, wow, I am thankful today. Thank you, God, for this beautiful day and for the colorful leaves and for the pumpkin donut I had this morning. And in today's story, some people learn to thank God for their food. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with some people called the Israelites. Everyone say hello. Hello. Look at their faces. Do the Israelites look happy? No, they don't. They look very unhappy. The Israelites were walking in a desert. There are no trees to sit under in a desert. There is no cool water to swim in. There are no grocery stores or restaurants for food. And the Israelites had been walking in a hot desert for a very long time. They walked and they walked and they walked. Wait, what was that? Did you hear that? That sounds like someone's tummy growling. Is your tummy growling? My tummy isn't growling. It must be the Israelites. What does it mean when someone's tummy is growling? Yes, it means they are hungry. And the Israelites were very hungry because they didn't have any food. God knew that the Israelites needed food. So he told their leader Moses that he would send meat at night and bread in the morning. Wow, God is so good. That night, they had plenty of meat to eat for dinner. Everyone was so happy to have food. Let's say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Then the next morning, there were small pieces of bread all over the ground for the people to eat. Let's say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Every day, God made sure the people had meat to eat at night and bread to eat in the morning. Wow, God is so good. God gave the Israelites food to eat. Wow, we can thank God for food. Thank you, God, for our food. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. God gave the Israelites food, and God gives us food, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God gave the Israelites bread and meat to eat every day, and God can give us food, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. I am so thankful God gives us food. I can't wait to share all these treats at the parade. And maybe I'll have a snack right now. See you next time. Bye. Wow, what an amazing Bible story. Today we learned that we can thank God for our food. That's right, guys. I can thank God for my food. So whether that's a Happy Meal from McDonald's or whether that's something that my mom made on a Tuesday night, I can thank God for my food. Our God is truly amazing. There's nothing our God can't do. So why don't we pray together? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for all that you've done for us. God, I thank you for the food that you've given us. 
God, I thank you, God, for my mom. I thank you, God, for my dad. God, I thank you for my church. I thank you for my Sunday school teacher. God, there is no one like you. God, I just want to tell you thank you. Thank you for seeing me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for knowing me. God, thank you for getting me to each and every place. God, thank you for protecting me. God, thank you for being my provider. Because you are, there's no one like you, God. God, you are so mighty. And you are the king of all kings. So we just say thank you, God. We just say thank you for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do, God. Thank you for everything. It's in your mind every we pray. Amen. All right, friends. See you later. Bye.